Hey, what's going on guys? I'm from Model3D and today's video is going to be an update on the uh, One Hand Duplicator 7. So right after the unboxing the other day, I took it straight upstairs, plugged it in and wanted to get, go in with it. I followed the manual, I put the resin in, all that kind of stuff um, and it didn't work. Nothing worked. The It seemed that the LCD panel wasn't coming on. I couldn't get anything to light up. The power switch on the front was lighting up and I was getting the fans running all that kind of stuff I was getting notifications on my PC to say that the HDMI was in and the USB was in but nothing else other than that so the first issue was the power supply unit uh, the one that supplied with the machine didn't actually have enough oomph or enough kick to power the unit basically it was lighting up the LCD panel but it wasn't running the UV um, LEDs so when I was going to start a print it wouldn't power enough and it just nothing so I had a spare power supply lying around. I uh, replaced the 12 volt 5 amp supply, the 12 volt 6 amp, um, plugged it in, tried a test print, and it worked perfectly. All the LEDs lit up, everything, yeah, great. So that was the first issue. So basically the manual that they provide wasn't really written for this machine, I don't think. Maybe it was copied from somewhere else, because there were certain points in there that it would suggest um, for example, turning on the LED lights on the switch at the front of the machine. There's no switch on the front of the machine. You have to turn them on via the software, which is an open source creative workshop software. It doesn't mention that in the manual. It doesn't mention about turning on display through the software. It doesn't, met, um, doesn't mention any of that. So usually you've got people that's discovered that already when the machine's already out. But with me being the first person to receive it, I had to discover that myself. So, so a lot of messing around, a lot of playing around with it, but I finally got there. Um, I got it going. I found out the sequence you need to do in order to get the lights on and in order to get a print in order, in order to get it set up. So I'm gonna be posting a video on that soon of the initial setup of the, of the printer. But for now, I know you guys wanna see um, updates on how it actually prints. With the time taking so long, I wanted to start off with some smaller, kind of less complicated parts, just to see what the printer could produce. I printed one of the form labs or the Maker Rooks um, the little chess piece to compare to the Form Labs Form 2 resin print that I had in hand. Um, as you can see here, the quality is just in outstanding. This is printed at 100 micron layer height. This is at the lowest quality, so I could all I could even go down to 30 microns, and it would be outstanding. But the lettering came out on the top, the um, letter on the bottom, all the layer lines, all the um, DNA kind of swirl in the middle. Everything came out perfect. I'm really, really happy with this printer so far. I think with the Form Labs, what you're paying for is the usability and the kind of support, the pre-tested units, all that kind of stuff. This is basically shipped. Um, you get hardly any information, so it's more of a community-based kind of printer that they'll chuck the components together and then you as a community have to discover how to get your best work in, all that kind of stuff. So if you've got one of these printers or you plan to get one soon, I've got my Creative Workshop profiles down in the description for you to download. Um, you can chuck these on your printer and they should work perfectly fine. Um, I'm also going to have a setup video coming soon. I just wanted to do this little video to update you guys um, with some of my prints and show you all that. So. so if you like the video, please make sure to click the thumbs up button. Please make sure to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. There's going to be a load more one how videos. There's going to be more FDM projects, builds, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.